Um, yes, yeah, has a kanji symbol for fire on it, which some of this piece takes up that. I would have wished hit the sticker over that, but I guess that's kind of hard. Um, yeah, it's not bad. It belongs to Takaru Shiba. I actually know his last name because Shiba Clan is pretty much the whole thing. She's in red. And technically, him, I'm guessing it's his sister because currently a female Shinken Red just showed up and the new episode's supposed to come out today, so that will explain that, so I'll watch that later. Um, yeah, so it belongs to her too, and I think it's Kawaha Shiba, something with K. Don't know. I might put it in an ocean saying it if I can find it um, on the internet, interwebs. So, yeah, it has a little attack mode that is shown in a couple episodes. Where you just literally put these wings to the side and kind of makes it look like it can fly and go through things on fire. I guess that's not too bad. Um, I actually think it's a little nifty. Um, for animal mode, which is a lion, put its feet here. Take its head out if you want. A lot of people like to leave that to last. Take these feet out and just tear this apart and connect it there. It looks a little lightish red because of the light, but it's a pretty dark red actually. Um, oh, no flyer just fell on it. Um, now, yeah, really good. I actually like this thing a lot. It was really loose and I used to hate it until, once again, try that nail polish thing out. I know it sounds weird, but it works. Um, yeah, stickers are everywhere on these things, which I've, I wish I would have actually painted some of the plastic with the details, because stickers wear off, and I don't want to have to buy stickers off something or buy a whole new thing just to get stickers again. Uh, this, the uh, entire set of the 10 guys I got cost me about 120 bucks. I know, like you're thinking, holy crap, little things, but it came with candy, which I don't have a sample of because I ate it all already. I'm a pig. Yes, I know. Um, yeah, that's a lion. Okay, now, here's a combination of them for part two. Yay! I'm so happy. Um, just literally fold this arms up for the lion. Separate this and put the legs of the lion back in, but then put it back the way it was. If I can get it like that. There we go. Snap it in. And just... Oh, that ball doesn't like to fall off a lot. I'll just do it here so that doesn't happen again. God. Everything goes wrong in a video for almost every reviewer. Everything that can go wrong does go wrong. Um, and like it usually does. So, that is the chest. Except for the head, which I'll reveal later. Um... Here is the dragon, which, once again, is really interesting with the transformation. Um, take this little part off, it will become a pretty important piece, actually, um, for once. Uh, then just fold that, fold that, fold that, fold that, and do some more twisting and folding until you get it in these pegs. So now it looks like a foot. A bit of a weird shape to it, I find, but whatever. It's still good. Um, Chucky's. Let's go with him, the goofball, the idiot, the blah 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 blah. Um, this thing is really cool because it's so easy. All you do is put that up and fold in the legs. That is it. That is it. It's even more simple than Kame's. Um, or Saru's even. Um, here's Kame, to speak of the devil. Put the head in there. Wait, I'm putting the wrong side, aren't I? Yes, I was. Um, then fold this out, and twist the fist. They've got an arm. Pretty nice arm. Um, it's for the monkey. It is the monkey. Um, fold these up until they click, and then just don't pull it out too far or it will come out. And then you've got, oh yeah, fold this back. You've got an arm. Pretty nice little looking arm. Not bad. Um, now I've put all these components together. You're going to want to do this. And that. And then take Chalkies. I like to say Chalky. That's actually a really cool name. I like that. Um, if I ever move to your family when I'm an adult, that's what I'm naming my child. Um, yeah, this is a 
camera up a bit, just so you can see it. Oh, oops, the line had it out again. Keep likes to go back in there. And you pretty much attach this arm, and then this arm. So it's starting to build up there. This is really cool because the head is in two, and then you fold it together to the. Uh, it just kind of fits. Mine's on a little curve. It likes to look in one direction. I think I'll try and fix that at one point. It's been like that for a while. It annoys me like hell. Um, then put this little important piece on the head, and it will become a helmet. Um, yeah, that's about it. It will always be on the angle for this video because it just likes to be. It's like, you're looking at me. You're going to be a fool. Yeah, so that is about it. Um, for him, himself, without his accessories, of course. Where you got this and the disc. And you got a little shield, which on the show, which you can actually do here. Oh, I'll put it in the wrong place. There we go. Okay. You can actually put the shield, if I can get it clipped on. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Wrong hole. Um, there is... It, put the shield on its back. You can also put the shield, oh sorry, that looks an awful lot, pretty loose shield actually, which bugs me a little bit. And with the amount of animals around here, there's bound to be hairs under the stickers. Ugh. Um, so, there's a little pad there, unfold it, and then you can attach it to the arm, which is actually kind of cool. You can attach it to the shoulder, but it makes it a little shoulder heavy so it likes to drift down a bit. And then the only I can only really hold this in Kame's arm. So I just put that in there. And then lift it forward and you've got a shield in the hand. And speaking of shield in the hand, why don't we go put a sword in the hand? Which you can do pretty easily. It's there. Look you do the sword. Pretty long. And it's molded in blue. I might paint it actually, silver or something, if I can find actually non-water coming off the paints, because all the ones I find at the store are all like the Crayola water wash stuff that I absolutely hate. Can't find any of the good stuff anymore. Um, yeah, so you can't really see all the sword and camera, but whatever. Um, you can also put it in the sheath here. A cool fact, um, when you put it in the show like this, I guess looks pretty cool, but in all samurai reality, they're trained in right hand swordsmanship. I learned this from another reviewer, Bolt Matrix, pretty popular guy. It actually is supposed to go like that, um, which so it doesn't dull the sheath. It actually is not like that in the show. Actually, now that I do it, it looks a little dumb, in my opinion. <coughs> yeah, so that is Shinkano review, and I. Hope you really enjoyed it. Bye.